welcome back to my channel, Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And today is another day of uh, another day of driving motorcycles. But I'm guessing that comes as no surprise to you since this is a motorcycle channel. Right now I'm on my way to the garage, first of all, to pick up beer. And then second of all, I'm gonna meet fuck the red light. The guy a guy I know who is getting back his motorcycle from a custom shop here in the local area. He has a little bit of time to kill outside a custom shop and I offered to come by with a beer. So yeah, that, that's what I'm doing right now. Make sure to stay tuned to see his bike because it's a really, really nice one. Here we are at the garage, the stalls, the beer depot. Special shout out to Teddy Van Halen for buying me a case of beer. <sighs> All right, that one's empty. <laughs> there we go, that's two full ones. They're nice and garage cold. All right, the important shit has been picked up, which is beer. And I must say, all day it's been shitty weather. All day. And then I go out and the sun is shining. I think the weather gods just heard me saying motorcycles and beer and they were like, let's shine on that boy. And I'll add this. After I'm done drinking this beer with my mate and he's got his bike, I'll head back home and fire up the grill. The custom shop I'm going to is literally like a stone's throw, well no, actually not literally, I have to be really strong to throw a stone this far, but from my garage. And yeah, it's just under the bridge to the left. Here we go, taking the left. And then you just need to drive down a really shitty road uh, for about a hundred meters. And then, there you are. That was a nice little beer. Checking out my mate's Breakout 114. What a beautiful bike. He just got it back from some custom works. For It's been going for like three weeks. I told him that, man, that's hard. How many bike guns for three weeks? Man, that's like, I don't know, taking away your soul for three weeks. But that is the reason why I have two bikes. So it's like I have two souls. <laughs> But having that one beer got me really thirsty and uh, if I continue drinking I have to park the bike up so I'm gonna head home now, drink more and fire up the grill and have myself a barbecue. in my eyes. Sounds like a song for Motorhead. Smoke in my eyes. So I got some mates over for a little grill. Sun's going down. It's just this day turned out to be a perfect day. And I got meat on the way, spare ribs to be more exact. And I got beer right now. No complaints. Look at them inside in the nice warm temperatures, getting ready to eat like a bunch of vultures. And here I am outside cooking for them. What you want? Meat. <laughs> Fleisch. Fleisch. Yeah. Germany, we call it Fleisch. <laughs> mm. Which Fleisch is yours? That with real meat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Gute Fleisch, not the. Uh... German sausages. Yeah. Not the uh, vegan scheiss? No, I hate vegan scheiss. <laughs> it's not mine. Six minutes. No worries. I'll just stay out here in the cold, being hungry. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> These people. At least I have beer. And if you want to buy me a beer, there's a link in the description down below. <laughs> Thank you. 
I went out riding today with no intention to film to be honest it's just a Sunday afternoon but I came across this semi-abandoned church that I've I, I knew it existed I tried to get into it before but I wasn't able to in the past and well, I just thought I'm driving past her anyway let's see if I can get in this time and I was able to get in And yes, I know, someone like me are supposed to just burst into flames when they step into a church. But I think since this one had no roof, I think that's why I'm not engulfed in flames at the moment. But like I said, today I went out with no intention of filming, but since I filmed that church, I feel like now I have to keep filming. So I'm down in the lake district of Leipzig. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to one of the lakes. It looks like I can't get there this way. Looks like the road ends up here. It's not supposed to end up here. The road is now officially ending. Let's just see. Well, I am the friendly neighborhood outlaw. I've been friendly today. I haven't been an outlaw. I guess it's time to do that today. That was unproblematic. Ah, here we are at one of one of the many lakes in the area. I've never been here before, so I'm just going to follow the bikes in front of me, see where they go. Well, you know what? Let's go to one of the other lakes. Second lake of the day. It's still complicated finding this place, but I found it. It'll break a lot of laws finding it, but that's besides the point. It's a lot nicer, and also a lot more people. I see me if I can get a drink. Alright, that was really nice, but it's not summer yet. As soon as the sun went behind some clouds, it got really cold down there. Had my beer, got what I wanted. So I think it's this time to make my way back home, which means I will end this episode right here. I think today I'm still a little tired from our little, uh, little party the other night. There wasn't much more to film than what you saw because yeah, it wasn't that much interesting and there was no motorcycles in my living room, so, <laughs> you know. But anyway, thanks for watching another video here at Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And until next time... Bye-bye!